Module 3 will continue discussion of charting in iView, focusing on conditional logic and reference data. The last module demonstrated charting an individual result, as well as activating a whole section for charting. Additionally, an entire column may be activated. To do this, double-click next to the time in the desired column. This will open all of the fields highlighted in deep blue in the Navigator pane. Note that if you need to chart information in one of the fields not highlighted in deep blue, you will need to click on that section in the Navigator pane to open it up for charting in the View pane. Conditional logic is a feature of iView that guides necessary documentation. Certain labels within iView appear with this icon, which indicates a conditional logic trigger field. This means that depending upon your entered response in that field, other fields may open for additional charting. Let's look at an example. The pane intensity label has a conditional logic trigger icon next to it. When a value is entered into the field and then enter or tab is pressed, new fields open for additional charting. Notice the diamond-shaped icon next to these fields. This icon indicates that these fields were activated as a result of a response in the conditional logic trigger field. Now you try. Double-click in the pane intensity field and enter a value of 6. Then press the Enter key on your keyboard. Because the value entered falls outside the critical range, this warning box appears. Click Yes to continue. Now the conditional logic fields have opened. Click Abdomen for pane location. Remember, click the X to advance to the next field. Choose Left, Upper, click the X, Aching, and click the X. In addition to the conditional logic designation, the pane intensity label is also unique in that it is in blue font. Labels in blue font contain reference text. To view the reference text information, simply click on the label name and reference data will appear. When finished viewing, click the OK button in the lower right hand corner. This concludes Module 3 of iView Charting. Please refer to your scenario sheet for instructions on the next set of practice exercises before proceeding to the next module.